Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Fanique. I'm Fanique of the blog Chic in Chocolate. And <laughs> today I am sharing some updates, but this video is predominantly about my new Kelly bag. So let's start from the beginning. It was my beginning of my birthday week. My birthday is January 29th. And so this it was a Friday this year. And so in this case, it was on a Sunday that I went to Louis Vuitton with one of my friends so they could purchase a wallet. Um, and we were on Michigan Avenue at the Louis Vuitton in Chicago here. And I just happened to say, hey, let's go into the real real. I've never been into their store. And I kind of want to look around at Chanel bags. <laughs> so a little context, I do not have any designer bags right now, like other than my tail far. And I have a hard time like really splurging on um, those kind of things because I bought a condo. I'm a one income household kind of girl. I have a condo that I own. I have a car that I own and I spend my money. I try to spend it wisely, but if I'm gonna keep it a million, I have credit card bills that I wanna pay down. And that's a big reason why I haven't spent a lot of money on purchases for bags and like very expensive luxury goods. Um, so I'm a tad cheap, but not really. So anyway, well, this story is going to tell you the real tea. So we go into the real real. I meet this guy in Brooklyn. Shout out to Brooklyn. He was great. And he's like, what? You're looking at the Chanel? I was like, yeah, I really like the Chanel bags. I really want one. I don't have one. I like the Chanel's. I like the Kelly's. Da, da, da. He was like, well, let's play in the Kelly's. <laughs> Let's play in the Hermes. <laughs> so I was like, okay. <laughs> so I was, it was all on my Instagram. If you don't already, follow me on Instagram. This is Fanique. So it's super simple. You can get my snapshots of what I'm eating every day, what I'm wearing, what I'm shopping, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so anyway, he's like, let's play in the Kelly. So he brings out um, a pink Kelly, like a really bright pink Kelly. And it was beautiful, but... A little bit too bright pink for me, but it was super cute. It was very nice. I think it was $22,000. Beautiful bag. So I'm like, okay, 22, oh God, no. <laughs> That's like house down payment money, like what? And so, <laughs> and so he, um, he brings out a crocodile brown Kelly, vintage Kelly bag, and it was fabulous. Like, oh my God. I think it was 12,000. It was absolutely gorgeous. I loved it. I was like, oh my God, it's gorgeous, but 12,000, no. <laughs> so I'm just having the best time. I'm like, oh, I love them, but I can't. My friend Lawton, who I was, went to Louis Vuitton, was like, you should totally buy something for yourself. It's your birthday week, and it's your birthday this week, and you work so hard, and you have so many jobs, and you should buy something. These are the friends you should probably leave at home if you don't want to spend money. <laughs> So Brooklyn comes out and is like, well, you know what? We have a box Kelly coming in tomorrow, really fresh, brand new. Um, it is vintage, it's chocolate. And I was like, chocolate? It doesn't really go with my like predominantly black and white wardrobe necessarily. But hmm, chocolate, she and chocolate. Hmm, I think I could do it. I think I, I think I could do it. So I looked at the photos and he was like, it's only $5,000. And I know to some people, especially in the middle of a pandemic, it's like only $5,000. But for a Kelly, a real one, and it real, I'm just like, $5,000, that's it? What? <laughs> so, um, I'm just like, OMG, $5,000. Hmm. I look at it, I was like, it's real nice, it's only $5,000, it's a Kelly, like that's kind of a deal and I'm a sucker for a really good deal especially if it's something I really want I'm not the kind of person who will like go to like Target and see if you buy three you get a five dollar gift card so you buy three even though you don't need the three to me that's wasteful but if it's something you really want and it's a deal you gotta get it that's my vibe so um I go in that Monday and I see the bag and he's like it's in better shape than Brooklyn's like hi it's in better shape than I thought it would be in you know it's beautiful it has a few scratches it's gorgeous but you could always just you know get it cleaned up blah 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 we shampooed and it was just this bag
I'm just, it's so, I'm so in love. I, and I don't really wear brown, so y'all know I'm about to pull out some brown looks. I'm about to figure out some chocolate brown looks. I'm gonna wear black and brown, obviously a ton, but I'm just so in love. So in love, OMG. So this is a, just to be specific, this is an Hermes Kelly Cellier 35 in chocolate, vintage, circa 1977. So, ah, so in love, so into it. I just, I can't. <laughs> I'm so in love. Like, I'm not gonna lie, when I first bought my condo that I have, I was like, am I gonna regret it? And for like the last, I've owned it for almost two years. So the last year I've really regretted it, to be honest. <laughs> I'm like, oh God. It was kind of just like kind of a spur of the moment type of purchase. And I'm kind of the type of person who needs to spend a long time making a financial decision. <laughs> I need to spend 50 lem hours thinking, contemplating, making a move. So when I bought my condo, that's not what happened. So buying this bag kind of within a 24 hour period, spending five grand um, that I did not want to spend, that I did not plan to spend, and that I personally feel like I don't have to spend, but that's just me. I just feel like I don't ever have that much money to spend. That was kind of just unheard of for me. And this was definitely crazy. Okay, the only like luxury bag I have is a Telfar. Um, and that, I took me forever to like, do it before it started getting really big and hard to get those bags i just was like let me go ahead and get this this in a black it'll go with everything i have so this being my second much more expensive luxury bag before i even get a chanel or celine it's kind of insane but <laughs> brooklyn said the, the most amazing thing to me and he said to me why start here when you could start here and that's just that's my vibe so i was just i'm so in love i um just i'm obsessed it did not come with a lock um and that makes me think do did kelly's in 1977 come with locks or were people much more trustworthy then <laughs> but anyway i'm gonna close it up for you guys i'm like a vibe like oh just so beautiful i'm just so enough oh it's so gorgeous guys this will probably be the only big purchase i get this year i am going to do like a little wish list um video later because there are a few bags a few big things that i want uh but mostly i want stuff for my house like for my living room for i want vacations i'm tired of being in the house i'm gonna go out the country like that's what i want but <laughs> Um, I'm definitely have no regrets, shockingly, and I'm just so thankful for the people at The Real Real, for Brooklyn specifically. I'm absolutely in love with my bag. I'm, I love when it looks like this, but I kind of got grown to love kind of the straps, like kind of just being tucked under there like that. I'm still waiting on my 7RP. I'm going to be waiting a while, but my 7RP, um... My 7RP inserts. Ugh, can't talk, guys. But, like, look at that. Like, I just love it like that. Um, you can put it like this, but I just don't like it like that. It doesn't hang properly for me. But, yeah. I just, I'm so in love with it. It's so beautiful. So in love. It's so gorgeous, guys. Like, I can't. So, I, I have to say, this is shocking for me. But this is, I guess, my birthday gift. Maybe my new tradition for my birthday will be just buying one bag for myself every at the beginning of every year. <laughs> um, but, yeah. So, other updates. So, my vlog must end fairly abruptly because I have not been feeling that great. Um, and... I just am extremely tired. I'll talk more about this later, but I kind of have like a health issue that I'll get more into since this is a food fashion travel channel and it does have to do with, I personally believe, the way you eat. So um, I would definitely be talking more about that in the next few weeks and going forward, it's gonna be a whole series on here. But um, it kind of ended abruptly and I've just spent January 
re kind of focusing and organizing my blog and my life and my youtube channel and just really wanted to make sure i give you guys food fashion travel keep it on the healthier food side but delicious like i just want to eat good food so that's very very important to me like that's number one thing in life that's most important to me is to eat really 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 good food period um so i have to check the time <laughs> but um i'm really excited about with what i have coming for you guys right now we're doing videos on wednesdays and sundays hence today's upload and it's going to be food fashion travel diy i'm kind of chilling on diy for a moment um just because like i've done so many things in my house back in january so i'll show you guys some of that diy um that i shared on instagram but for the most part I am extremely excited to be back on my channel and sharing and cooking because I oh, love it and everything. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel um, for more content like this and food and travel and all of those things. So comment below um, if you have any questions about my purchase, if you wanna see more videos like this. I don't really plan on buying another Kelly anytime soon um, or really any designer bags for myself anytime soon unless you know some financial windfall comes and even if it does, I probably would just buy like <laughs> a house <laughs> in another state. <laughs> so but for the most part thank you guys so much for watching uh, see you guys later bye